We want to give you a live look in Daytona Beach, Florida, where Hurricane Matthew has been pounding the coast all morning. The National Hurricane Center says the center of the Category 3 storm was last tracked about 25 miles east of Cape Canaveral, but there have been wind gusts of 100 miles per hour at the Cape. And this is what it looked like earlier this morning. You could see the wind and rain. It was so strong there. It was tearing off the sides of buildings. Mandatory evacuations are issued for nearly 90,000 people. 22,000 people are now staying in shelters. Officials say some residents who refused to evacuate earlier are now calling for help. I want to personally plea with you to get out right now. Don't wait one more moment. Save yourself. Save your family. Save your friends. Don't be part of the history of this hurricane that might include a long list of fatalities in the U.S. In Haiti, we now know at least 283 people have died. It was the first Category 4 storm to hit Haiti in decades. And the storm is forcing several airports in Florida to shut down, which is impacting travel across the country. KPIX 5's Maria Medina is live at SFO with more on that. Maria? Good morning, Michelle. We are talking nearly 4,000 flights canceled across the country because of Hurricane Matthew, including here at SFO. So a good idea for you to check your flight before you head to the airport. In fact, we met the Garcia family yesterday. They are from Florida. They were trying to return, return home yesterday, found out their flight was canceled. Now, we've been checking airlines all morning long, many of them canceling flights until Saturday as airports are shut down, as you mentioned, in Miami. Miami, Fort Lauderdale, Orlando, and West Palm Beach. As for the Garcia family, they say they simply must wait. I left my two kids. <laughs> you left your two kids at home? Yes, they didn't want to come to the wedding and they're there, so I am very scared because this is their first hurricane by themselves. Already they got the generator, we stuck them up on food, so we're texting back and forth, so I'm just praying that they're going to be fine. And a lot of help on the way to Florida as well. We met a man from the Bay Area Medical Disaster Team. He leads a team of about 50. They are on standby right now. Now, if you are uh, one of those who has had your flight canceled or if you know anyone who's had their flight canceled, there is a bit of good news. Many of the airlines offering waivers to those people. Live at SFO, Maria Medina, KPIX 5. Wreaking havoc. Our executive producer, Branda, she just said that her dad, who runs a hospital in Jacksonville, Florida, right. they had to board up windows as a precaution. Their power went out, so now they're on a backup generator. Very common with the hurricane of this dimension and the sizes. This hurricane is breaking all kinds of weather records, mm -hmm. especially for longevity. We started tracking this back on September 28th, and the airlines have been all over this tracking this system, too, already saying uh, cautions and warnings, flights could be canceled. So, good job for the aviation. We are tracking this beast of a hurricane. This hurricane will go down in the weather history books for a number of different reasons. It's now a category three, which is still extremely dangerous on a scale of one to five, with five being the most dangerous of all hurricanes. It was a four downgraded in the overnight hours because it started brushing up against landmass. And keep in mind, a hurricane needs to be over warm waters to generate that strength and energy. This hurricane is continuing to clip along the Atlantic coast. It did not make landfall. If it had, it would have been the first in U.S. history in decades here. But it has doing though it's just buffeting the space coast outside of Cape Canaveral with 107 mile per hour winds. It continues its jog in a north northwesterly direction, picking up some speed now at 14 miles per hour. That's pretty fast for a hurricane of this dimension. We want it to be fast so it can move out very rapidly. It looks like it's prog to continue to uh, jog up the coast there past Charleston all the way into Saturday morning. It's going to dump over a foot of rain. It has damaging winds over 100 miles per hour and a storm surge larger than Hurricane Hugo, which is historic.